हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज सिस्टम ऑफ होमोजीनियस लीनियर इक्वेशन वी विल ऑल्सो सी टेक्निक टू सॉल्व दिस सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन सो लेट एस फर्स्ट नो वॉट इज सिस्टम ऑफ होमोजीनियस लीनियर इक्वेशन इट इज द सेट ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन विच आर ऑल होमोजीनियस इन नेचर होमोजीनियस मीन्स डिग्रीज ऑफ एवरी टर्म आर सेम इन दिस केस degree has to be 1 for example consider this system of three equations in variables x y and z note that the highest degree is 1 so this system is a linear equation also since the constant term is 0 this system is homogeneous in nature you can see that degrees of all terms are same here degree of first term is 1 second term is 1 third term is also 1 but when we see the fourth term it is 0 so you can consider this as 0 into x that is coefficient of x is 0 so still this degree of this term is 1 therefore this system is a system of homogeneous equations now we talk about solution to this system of homogeneous equations a homogeneous system is always consistent that means it will have at least one solution it is nothing but a all zero vector i can explain you with the help of this example if we put x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 in these equations we see that these equations satisfies therefore 0, 0, 0 that is all zero vector is a solution to this system such solution is called as trivial solution and solution other than zero vector is called as non trivial solution so here we note that system of homogeneous equation will always have one solution that is zero vector or infinitely many solutions so let us see steps to find solution to system of homogeneous equations in the very first step we will write the matrix form of this homogeneous system of linear equation which is given by ax is equal to 0 here a denotes the coefficient matrix x denotes the matrix of unknowns and 0 denotes the zero matrix on the rhs then we reduce matrix a to row echelon form using only row transformations in next step we calculate the rank of a by counting the number of non zero rows in a and we compare it with the number of unknowns Finally we write the conclusion from following conditions If rank of A is equal to number of unknowns then system will always have unique solution that is a trivial solution in this case If rank of A is less than number of unknowns then system will have infinitely many solutions and these solutions can be obtained by assigning n minus r variable a random value Now let us see an example on this In this example we are given four equations all of them are homogeneous in nature also the highest degree is 1 this system of equation is in three variables x1 x2 and x3 so let us follow first step that is to write it into matrix form ax is equal to 0 so this is how a matrix form of system of this equation will look like This is matrix A, this is matrix X, and this is matrix zero. Now we perform series of row transformations on this matrix A, and we reduce it to row echelon form. So we first perform R two minus two R one, R three minus four R one, and R four minus R one. Due to which elements at A two one, A three one, and A four one becomes zero. Now. we perform r3 minus 3r2 and r4 minus r2 due to which elements at position 3,2 and 4,2 becomes zero now we ended up with this matrix we see that further reduction of this matrix is not possible so we stop the process of reduction and this is now in row echelon form now we count the number of non zero rows in this matrix a they are 3 in number so rank of a is 
and since number of unknowns are also 3 rank of a is equal to the number of unknowns therefore this system has unique solution which is trivial one that is all zero vector x1 has to be equal to 0 x2 has to be equal to 0 and x3 also equal to be 0 is the solution to this given system of linear equation look at the next example here once again we are given four equations in three variable x y z let's solve them first we put it into matrix form ax is equal to 0 then we reduce this matrix a to row echelon form using only row transformations you can pause the video and check these calculations so after few transformations we ended up with this matrix which is now in row echelon form which cannot be further reduced so we stop the process of further reduction now we see number of non-zero rows in matrix a they are 2 in number so rank of a is equal to 2 and since number of unknowns are 3 rank of a is less than number of unknowns therefore this system will have non-trivial solutions that means it will have infinitely many solutions and those solutions can be obtained by assigning n minus r variable a random value n means number of unknowns and r is rank so we have to assign 3 minus 2 that is one variable a random value to find those infinitely many solutions so let us first write the equations obtained from this row echelon form so from here we get y plus z is equal to 0 from here we get x plus y plus 2z is equal to 0 so these are those two equations obtained from row echelon form now we put z is equal to minus t in this equation so y becomes t so we substitute y is equal to t and z is equal to minus t in this equation we get x is equal to t so solution to this system is t comma t comma minus t you can put any value in t and you'll get a new solution for this system of equation in this way you can obtain infinitely many solutions to this system now let us see another example here we have to show that the system of equations given below can possess a non-trivial solution only if lambda is equal to 1 and lambda is equal to minus 3 let me show you how you can do it first of all we'll write the matrix form of this system which is ax is equal to 0 we know that a system can possess a non-trivial solution only if rank of matrix a is less than number of unknowns here number of unknowns are 3 so rank of a has to be less than 3 assume we want it to be 2 so if we want rank of a to be 2 then in its row echelon form one of the rows has to be equal to 0 therefore determinant of a will be equal to 0 so we say that the system of equation will have non-trivial solution only if determinant of a is equal to 0 so let's calculate the determinant of a and equate it with 0 so this calculation gives us equation in lambda when it is factorized we get lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 1 into lambda plus 3 is equal to 0 you can pause the video and check these calculations when we solve this equation we get lambda is equal to 1 or lambda is equal to minus 3 so we say that a system will possess a non-trivial solution only if lambda is equal to 1 and lambda is equal to minus 3 now let us extend our solution we will find out these non-trivial solutions at lambda is equal to 1 and lambda is equal to minus 3 for that we substitute lambda is equal to 1 in the equation ax is equal to 0 so after substituting lambda is equal to 1 in that equation we get this new representation now we can reduce this matrix A to row echelon form and find the solution. So these are the required transformations.
from this row equivalent form we get only one equation which is x minus 2y plus z is equal to 0. We can solve this system by substituting a random value in two variables. So we put z is equal to t1 and y is equal to t2 in this equation. So we get x is equal to 2t2 minus t1. Therefore solution to this system is 2t2 minus t1 comma t2 comma t1. Now we put lambda is equal to minus 3 in this system. We get this matrix form of the system. Let's reduce it to row equal form. For that I exchange R1 with R3. Then these further transformations will reduce the system to row equal form. Now we see there are two equations in three variable. So these equations can be solved by assigning one variable a random value. Let us first note down those equations. Those equations are x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 0 and y plus 2z is equal to 0. Here we substitute z is equal to t in this equation. So we get y is equal to minus 2t. Substituting z is equal to t and my y is equal to minus 2t in this first equation, we get x is equal to minus t. So solution to this system when lambda is equal to minus 3 is minus t comma minus 2t comma t. I hope you understood how to solve system of homogeneous linear equations. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.